Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today's video is going to be a quick and simple, easy TV tray flip. Just to brighten up the winter blues a little bit, and give it a little spring flare. Speaking of blues, this video is part of the YouTube collaboration and challenge hosted by Flip Pop. This is the blue challenge. First of all, I started off prepping my piece. I did all of that off camera. I just sanded it and cleaned it really well. And then I am using a latex paint that I just picked up on the mist tent aisle over at Home Depot. I think I paid $2 for the entire uh, court. And I'm using a paintbrush and just applying it. I'm always checking my edges and making sure that I do not have any drip marks of paint um, along the edges. I have some blue paint that I mixed up a while ago and I just always like to mix up my paint in um, like discardable containers like cottage cheese containers or sour cream containers or things like that that have a lid. That way I can just reuse them whenever I need to. And I actually used this paint before as like a paint wash that was kind of watery so I was thinking that I could just wipe it on with a paper towel just like any other paint wash but for some reason it was not working well for me so I did eventually switch to a paintbrush and I applied this paint with the paintbrush instead of the paper towel. And this is a completely custom blue. I mixed several different paints up to achieve this color. I love blue, it's my favorite color. So I was really excited about this challenge. For my coverage, I wanted sort of a thinner coat. I just wanted to, to kind of be somewhat transparent so it would look like a layered paint effect. So I only did one thin coat of my uh, custom mix blue paint. And please remember to check out Flip Pop's channel, Andy. He will be linked down below in the description as well as the playlist with all the participants that will be join, joining the challenge as well. I wanted to add some fun springtime looking stencils to the top of the TV tray. I found some really cute ones at my local thrift store and I got a deal on them. I will try and find something similar on Amazon and link that below. Some of the links may be affiliate links, which is just another way for you to support my channel. If you purchase a product through one of the affiliate links, it will just give me a small commission that is no additional cost to you. When doing stencils, you want to make sure you do not overload your paintbrush or your sponge or whatever tool you're using to apply um, your paint to your stencil. Um, I will often tap off any excess paint onto like a piece of cardboard or paper plate or something like that, just so that way it prevents any bleed through underneath of the stencil. You definitely don't want that. If you are enjoying this video or enjoy content like this, I sure hope you wish to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do lots and lots of fun DIY projects and furniture flipping. My next step is I'm going to seal my paint and my stencils with a clear matte polycrylic. I'm only doing one coat and it is also important because I am planning on adding some rub on transfers and sometimes it will cause your transfers to not stick if you do not apply a sealer or a top coat onto your paint. And ask me how I know this. <laughs> it's also a good idea to wait 
approximately 24 hours before you add on any of your rub-on furniture transfers. Here I am adding on my rub-on transfers. I'm just cutting them out. Aren't they so cute? I just love the birds so much. I will have these furniture transfers linked down below. And again, they will be affiliate links. So if you purchase them, I will get a small commission that will be no additional cost to you. When you are applying your furniture transfers, you need to remove the back white sheet, apply the transfer where you want it to lay, press it down, and it comes with a little burnishing stick that you will need to use to rub everything on. And just rub away until the transfer releases from the clear sheet. If for some reason it is still staying on that clear sheet, just lay your transfer right back down and keep rubbing until it comes off and it is removed. Then you can just take your finger after and rub your furniture transfer and um, rub around it to remove the little halo um, that is around the transfer. And then you need to seal again. I did the same sealer. I used a clear mat polyacrylic and I did apply two additional coats to this TV tray because it will probably be a heavily used piece so I wanted to make sure it had a nice good durable finish and that is it for this piece I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you like my cute little cottage core springtime blue TV tray update and don't forget to check out Andy over at Flip Pop and as well as the playlist and everything will be linked below as well as on the end screen. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. Ooh.